What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very special, highly anticipated WWE figure slash WWE collection room tour brought to you by My Damn Toys. This is the second time I think I've done this. The first time I've done it was way back in the summer and it is the end of 2017. We're getting ready for a big year of 2018. So I guess my yearly tradition, since this is the end of the first year that I've ever done my channel, we will do a room tour. You know, I'll give you an updated room tour every single year. So this is the very first one. So let's go ahead and start. All right guys, so if we're at the arena, we're gonna walk all the way around right here and we're gonna start at the door. And nothing special about the door. I would like to do some cool stuff right here, but there's nothing to it. Uh, we have my backpack right here, which is a very nice backpack. It's Nike Elite, and uh, it gets the job done, so what can I say? Going above the door, we have this Boston Red Sox sign, and I am a Boston Red Sox fan. If you look in my uh, all my videos, if we're doing toy hunter stuff, I usually have a Boston Red Sox hat on, so that is that. If you go right here, this is just a bunch of sports stuff. I drew that in high school. Uh, painted that like a long time ago. I'm a Duke basketball fan and then again another Red Sox thing So this is all things that are not really wrestling related if you look right there um, That is pretty much it everything else is wrestling related so now to move on from the boring stuff we'll go over here and Hanging on the door. I have my Randy Orton RKO out of nowhere hoodie. I love this hoodie a lot It's uh, ever since I saw it on TV. I definitely had to pick up one and here is one of the gems of my collection and it, it is my WWE spinner replica Autograph by the man himself, Jeff Hardy, right there. Um, give you guys a shot of that. I met him at a con in Atlanta, and yeah, the, the rest is history. There is a picture on the wall over there that we'll get to in a second of Jeff Hardy, but that is a shot of the replica. Walking on around, you have the Stealing the Show sign on the wall that uh, I picked up on my uh, honeymoon on my cruise, which uh, the guy custom made that. I showed him a picture, and he painted it right up, which I think is awesome. Um, if you do not know, I am a big Dolph Ziggler fan, but a lot of you already know that. Coming on around, we have this MDT blanket right here, and my wife had that made for me for Christmas, and it looks so amazing over the zebra print right there. Um, very glad that I got to hang that up. So guys, if we come down from the sign, you will be in the backstage area of MDT Wrestling right here. I've showed this a ton of times, so I'm sure a lot of you are sick of seeing it, but um, this is uh, the backstage area. You have the MDT door right here. I'm not going to show you too much of this because we have done multiple videos on this, so I'm not going to uh, get too much into it, but um, there's the curtain. They come around. You have some medical stuff right here. Over here you have some storage boxes and stuff and then the hallway comes down through here and again I said it in a previous video I will be updating this and I'm sorry if the lighting's not the best the lighting is over there on the arena so we will be uh, updating this I'm adding a GM's office and all of a lot of good stuff so stay tuned for that but uh, moving on up under here not sure if you guys are totally interested but we have a table right there my John Cena shoes chilling on the floor we have my fodder boxes um, if you want to take a look in there real quick, um, I did show you guys this in my figure accessories uh, fig hacks, but there's that, and then we have two more just like it, and they are stuck together, so I'm not even going to open that, but I did do a figure accessories uh, video if you want to go check that out. There is a link to it somewhere, so just find that video. Very nice to uh, do your fig hacks and stuff like that to put all your accessories in. And then the rest of the stuff down here is just a bunch of junk and accessories. You see my hair dryer right there. We got some stage accessories back there. You see the blackout accessories with the skulls. Um, that hair dryer is what I do all my head swaps and stuff with. If we come on down around, you will see this big box of John Cena Elites that we covered in my uh, figure collection video from yesterday. Back there we have a bunch of like Marvel Legends accessories, um, a zebra blanket that I use for my uh, carpet in my GM's office. Um, coming on around, underneath this table right here, we have ring skirts. We have two rings, and if you follow the channel in the beginning, that is the old uh, Elite Scale ring. We had the zebra print. We had the My Damn Toys ring skirt, My Damn Toys apron. Um, that's the same thing, but the, uh, I meant the uh, ring mat. We have John Cena lunchbox, some wood back there for some different things, another zebra print wood thing. I plan on hanging that zebra print wood thing and then um, putting all the fan mail and stuff you guys send me up on the wall. Right here we have my little rotating Susan thing that you will see in figure reviews. Got some scaffolding, ringside exclusive Hogan that just sold. I need to ship that out. 
And if you look closely to the right of that, you will see the Vindication ring skirt. Um, that's a little Easter egg in there. And then coming up right here, we have the MDT Official Arena right now. It is set up for MDT Live. As you see, Jack Swagger making his entrance right there. And then you have all of the crowd chilling in the MDT Arena. If you notice, everything is set up for an Extreme Rules match. And he is going one-on-one -on -one with the Extreme Champion himself, RVD. And this is a Money in the Bank qualifying match. So stay tuned for that on MDT Live episode number four. You will have that to look forward to. But here's a little overshot of the arena. You have my uh, nice phone right here that I take pictures with all the time. Um, again, the arena is all set up for Extreme Rules. we got the announce area right here. And then you have the rest of the crowd with my background and stuff like that. Um, very proud of the arena. I worked hard on it, and I love the way it uh, turned out, and I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. Just plan on uh, updating the backstage area. On the wall right here, we have my Stealing the Show cash-in Dolph Ziggler plaque, one of my favorite things in my collection. It is autographed by Dolph Ziggler. Moving on down, we have the Hasbro figures that are mock, and I do need to update that. I need to pick up all the rest of the remaining ones and, you know, probably move them up here on this blank space of the wall so they can all fit in there. Um, right here, we have my Dolph Ziggler worn hoodie from Hell in a Cell 2015. It is autographed by Ziggler himself up there, and that is a picture of him from the event framed up there. That is one of my favorite things um, from my collection as well. And then there's a little dog tag from Randy Orton up there. Moving over here, we have an autographed picture from John Cena. We have a DDP autographed kids belt right there. And then we have this 21st birthday intercontinental toy belt that was like a gag gift for my family, so I just threw it up on the wall. And then if you move over here, you will see the subscribe to my damn toy sign right there. That's subliminal messaging right there telling you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But I also took that to SmackDown Live when I sat row two in Birmingham. Right here we have my Fantasy NFL Championship belt um, right there. And this is a picture of me, my brother, and Jeff Hardy. And I have lost a lot of weight since then. Um, I am an athlete, so that right there, that picture embarrasses me a lot because uh, that was probably the most weight I've ever weighed in my entire life. Um, but that's just a little short thing on that. Right here we have the Vindication stuff. We got some referees right there. All of these bins have just like random figures in there. Uh, a bunch of headless figures, a bunch of Jack's figures and stuff like that. Right here we have just a bunch of uh, pens, pencils, rubber bands, stuff like that. And then down here we have uh, a bunch of my cheaper paints, not my Citadel stuff, but just all the stuff that I really don't use. And if you come back up here, you will see this beautiful knife that my wife got me for Christmas. It is the MDT official knife with a pink and black zebra print that I will do all of our unboxings with from now on. We have this little baggie right here full of accessories, um, all kinds of stuff in there. Not going to really dump that out, but you can see it's hats and chains and accessories. And then we come into the money makers right here. This is all of my figures, or at least one of the shelves, and uh, I'm not going to get too much into the figures. I'm just going to give you like an overview right here. Um, here's the Ziggler shelf. And moving on down, we have the MDT Live shelf. Again, these are, uh, if you want to get more into my figures, if you want to see every single one of them, uh, one by one, go to my video from yesterday. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out. It is my full collection video. I literally go through every single figure one by one. Right here we have the Vindication Shelf, Elite Champion Kenny Omega, Aleister Black, Braun Strowman, The Miz. Moving on down we have all of my Triple H's and there are so many Triple H's as you see right here. Look at that. I did not even know how many there are. And I believe all of these but four are elites, and I have a ton more basics in the crowd, but there's the Triple H's, uh, Chris Jericho, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Down here we have a bunch of random figures. We got uh, Bobby Roode, Custom Leo Rush, Custom Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, and then a bunch of just random figures. And then down here we have my DVDs, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff from when I used to play it. Um, and this right here is pretty cool. This is what I use for my ladder matches. Um, if you hang this from the ceiling, I use that little uh, hole right there. 
to uh, do my ladder matches. So that's a little fun fact for you. And then we will move on into these bins in the middle. So starting out on the top of the bins, guys, we have this John Cena official armband that I did catch at SmackDown Live. Me and Face Wife went to SmackDown Live and John Cena threw his armband in the crowd and I caught it and you know me being a massive John Cena fan, favorite wrestler of all time, I was completely marking out for that. Right here we have the MDT official Money in the Bank briefcase and um, this thing is freaking beautiful. Cannot wait to see who wins that in the pick fed. Um, up there we just have a bunch of random stuff, some stands, some cards and stuff. In here we have all of the chairs in my collection. So you see right there, every chair and then I guess two random phones for some reason. Um, in here we have all of my tables. Just a ton of tables and stuff. Chilling in there. On down we have my ladder drawer. And of course you know some of this stuff's being used in the arena right now. Uh, we have all of my random accessories. We have the infamous coffin that Finn Balor was buried in. So this is just a bunch of random weapons and accessories. We have my... Uh, cloth figure clothes so no rubber stuff in here this is all cloth and stuff like that very deep a lot of them on, are on display that's just my extras right here we have all of my rubber accessories so they're you know filling up that one probably gonna need a new one soon and then down here we have ring ropes ring steps display stands all of the little diorama pieces are right here and now we will get into this final shelf Alright guys, the final shelf right here, I'm holding the camera up, so I don't know if this is even focused really good, but you can see this is my full John Cena collection, the prized possession in my collection probably as far as figures goes. It is a timeline from the beginning of his career right here, all the way until current. I am missing his orange attire and the current green attire he's wearing right now, but I will be getting that. That's a Lance Catamaran custom right there from uh, South Paul Regional Wrestling. And as we move down, you have all of the Rey Mysterios, all of my Randy Ortons. Um, I need to get some better shelves so you can see every figure, but you can see how deep they go. Moving on down, we have Dean Ambrose, all my Canes, all my Batistas, Seth Rollins, Undertaker. And again, if you want to see any of these figures, if you would like to see them one by one, go to my collection video in the... Uh, description below I left a link so you can check out every single figure we went through all of them it's literally a total of like 45 minutes we covered every single figure so if you're interested in that go check that video out we have Stone Cold Steve Austin CM Punk Roman Reigns Edge Sting and HBK coming on down we have Cesaro Brock Lesnar The Rock Lita Kurt Angle and AJ Styles Need to get my AJ Styles collection deeper. I do have the one on the MDT Live shelf, but um, I don't like to pick up the figures because I have to do a torso swap and then decals and everything because I hate the body style they give him. But moving on down, you have a bunch of random figures again right here, um, and they go deep. Sorry, you can't really see it due to lighting issues, but this is another shelf of figures. But again, if you want to see that full collection, go to that video and you'll see every single one of them. And if we spin to the right right here from the shelves, you'll see this WWE chair with my tripod. And on the wall right here, we have the charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, chilling on the wall right there. And then we have the phenomenal AJ Styles flag. So both of those chilling right there. Love those flags so much. Um, right here, we have my Elgato, my mic, uh, my camera that I do the pick fed with. In the top one right here, we have all of my tools for customizing. We have all of my paint for customizing right there. I dropped the Elgato. Um, right here, we have all my sealants, tape, paint brushes, Sharpies, uh, nail polish remover, all that good jazz. Right here, we have my laptop, my wallet, my laptop charger, SD card, the monitor right there with the MDT logo coming on. We have my PS4 which does have a Punisher skull on it. Punisher is my favorite Marvel character, so I decided to draw a Punisher skull on there. And you guys know how I am about my uh, white, so I have a white PS4 controller. And I believe, besides this calendar right here, and that WWE chair, you have seen every single thing in the room. So yeah guys, that is the full room tour of 2017. The MDT figure room right here. Got the arena, got the RKO blanket draped over the couch if you didn't see that before. But here's a little 
widespread view of everything. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to every single one of my subscribers. I believe we are over 11,000 now, and that is just amazing to me. I'm so blessed with all of you guys, and I'm so thankful. Here's to a wonderful 2018. We have not even been on the channel or on YouTube a year now, and um, we still have like two months left until we get to a full year on here, but I am just so blessed and thankful for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below what you think of the room. Go ahead and subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And here is to a wonderful 2018. Thank you so much.